Katanat wildlife jong ka jella hene ka singi kelapan kut no ya kata yau jong ka wildlife jong menta usnam arhajar arhoe hakaba um menteri badai pet ya katanat klau u james pk sangma ulalong kong san badu ba dp wa lang ku musembut kong san hakane ka singi pen kut la palat pat ba ya ka kot bats of megalia badu ya arkli ke video Kata kan narpo wildlife sanctuary, a hope for tomorrow, but kan no correct biosphere reserve, lifeline of Garo Hills. So we need to stretch into well. Never one would realize that Jandia is also home to rich diversity of wild flora and fauna. Narpo is a forest nestled in the eastern part of the Jandia Hills. is one of the few places in the world where large and multi-story primary forests are still intact. Shok shok hakani kesengi katanat wildlife kalau saya mikir khusnam sih kini nongjok paper paper kita kelapan long. And uh, there is a reason why we celebrate this week every year. There is a threat. There is a threat to the ecological balance. There is a threat to the flora and fauna. India is a beautiful country, so diversified that it's unthinkable. In fact, we have more than 12 biodiverse what are the most, the 12 most biodiverse countries in the world right now. And we have more than 18 biosphere reserves, more than 52 tiger reserves in this country. And national parks, we have more than 105. So it's a huge country, very diversified and we are having all these reserve parks, all these uh, places basically to protect the wildlife of the country. You are also aware that uh, India is one of the few countries where we can fi find all the five big cats. Few countries, not every country you can find that. And 80% of the Reserve or of the tiger population is here in this country. More than 80% again of the one horned rhino in this country, and Asiatic lion almost 100% is in India. Therefore, it is our bounded duty to protect and to ensure that there is peaceful existence, coexistence between the human habitat and the wildlife in this country. In, uh, we are fully aware that the total work of wildlife smuggling and crimes against wildlife, killing of animals or hunting for uh, skins of uh, leopards or the horns of the one horned rhinos is worth more than 20 billion US dollars in fact. And what we catch, what we capture is just a small fraction, whether it's uh, in this country or outside. So the solution is not catching criminals, it's just one part of it. One of the reasons why we have the Wildlife Week is not only to create an awareness, which we are doing right now, but also to get all the stakeholders together to have a more planned and coordinated effort to ensure that wildlife is protected. Awareness, yes, but we need to more than create awareness, we need to awaken all the stakeholders who are part and parcel of protecting and ensure that the wildlife is protected. Our biodiversity and wildlife is akin to our or other humanities health insurance. Or let's say that they are insurance for our planet's health. 
Our planet's life-giving systems are critical to our survival. Symbiotic existence with nature and wildlife is mission critical to our own prosperity and wellness. I believe that the recent pandemic should be like a collective reckoning and also a crude reminder of how our encroachment into forests and disruption of natural systems has resulted in this backlash. Uh, friends, we know the kind of precarious nature in which all of us are in, our Mother Earth is in right now. Uh, the statistics, I must say, they are very, very grim and very alarming. Uh, we all know that India is a very, uh, is a highly biodiverse country, as was mentioned by our principal secretary. In fact, uh, you know, 45,000 species of plants uh, exist in only 2.4% of the world's land area. But today, in India, 3% of our bird species, they are facing extinction. As many as 19% of our amphibians are threatened or are critically endangered. Bee colonies are also collapsing drastically as uh, we speak today across the country. The United Nations published a sweeping report just as recent as last year, cautioning that one million of the estimated eight million plants and animal species on the planet are at a risk of extinction. And this, that too, within decades because of human activities.